For the first time, the number of British Columbians in hospital with COVID-19 has topped 500, and now more elective surgeries are being cancelled. CTV's Penny Daflos is on that story, and Penny, today we learned the government is cancelling more than 1,700 surgeries. That's just over the, ne the next two weeks, and that's just in the Metro Vancouver area. And we have to emphasize that is on top of surgeries that have already been cancelled, which the health minister acknowledged today. So I asked Fraser Health earlier this week. They told me they've had about 50 to 70 surgeries cancelled. Vancouver Coastal Health would not tell me how many surgeries they've cancelled so far. And the Ministry of Health tells me they will try to get that information, but hasn't made it available yet. As we reported earlier this week, several hospitals are at full capacity and now staff that typically perform surgeries are being reassigned to staff what the health minister calls surge capacity beds. These are extra beds that can be in hallways, waiting rooms, even shower rooms to care for COVID patients. As a result, Abbotsford General, Lionsgate, Burnaby General, Surrey Memorial, Royal Columbia, and Richmond, St. Paul's, UBC, and Vancouver General Hospitals are all postponing non-urgent, non-emergency surgeries starting Monday. For those patients that have already been called or will be called to postpone their surgery and for patients whose surgery we aren't able to book at this time, I make the same assurance we made to patients last March. You will not be forgotten. You are part of our surgical renewal commitment and as soon as we are able to do so, we will call you again and rebook your surgery. The health minister expects the non-emergency surgery postponements in Metro Vancouver to last about two weeks, but says they will be reassessing every week to see how it goes. Remember, our current COVID hospitalizations are already in the worst case scenario territory outlined by the province in early fall. Now, here's a critically important takeaway. If you need emergency health, whether you've had a heart attack or been seriously injured, uh, the hospitals are still there to see you. They want you to go there without delay. Now, they may need to send you to another less busy hospital which has been happening in the last several weeks but the health minister and frontline doctors alike insist the hospitals are there for everybody who needs them whether you have COVID or not. Mi Jung? An important reminder there. Thank you Penny.